Hey there guys, how's it going and welcome to a new Ark Survival Evolved video on the PS4 Pro, obviously playing PvP servers. It's been a crazy busy weekend as I'm sure you know, uh, I don't know how it currently is on the Xbox and PC but at the moment the Valentine's event and the uh, Evolution event are still active on the PS4 so it's been a weekend of farming, taming, grinding, breeding, yes you heard me, breeding i've been breeding like a madman well not me personally i've been breeding my tames uh, and i've got a ton of new tames to show you um i'm gonna have to face palm a bit here even though you can't see me face palming but i did actually record this video already it was spot on exactly what i wanted and my microphone was all messed up so i've had to record this all over again so what i'm going to show you what i'm talking right now is a little bit of footage that i previously recorded basically what i did there showed you all the dinos which i'm going to show you here but then I spent a lot of time breeding every single dino that I have in the base to try and get some chocolates. I actually ended up getting three boxes of chocolates, which is pretty good considering the amount of things uh, that I mated. So pretty good stuff there. If you don't know about these boxes of chocolates, they allow you to fully regen health of yourself or a dino, or they allow you to half tame a uh, any dino that you're trying to tame. So mainly ones that take a long time to tame, you're probably going to use that for... We've in fact used it to tame ourselves a Therizino, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all the tames I've been breeding, all the new tames that I've got, show you their stats. We're also going to show you the new tames that I, uh, well, tamed, the new things that I tamed properly, not from breeding. We've got a Baryonyx, we've got a Therizino, and just a new, another little look around the base. It's all new, it's all improved. So no like fighting today. This isn't a fighting PvP video, but there is a lot to catch up on, so I thought it might be worth seeing. It's such a shame that I've done all of this already, but there is a lot to show you. So, if you do enjoy these videos, let's see if we can tell me a thousand likes on today's video, guys. We can normally do a thousand on a Sunday, and I'm uploading this on a Sunday, so I think we could do it. If we could do it, that would be absolutely crazy. And I have been streaming a lot for you guys, so I'm putting the effort in at the moment. I know I had a bit of a dry week last week, not too many videos, but now I am going to smash it this week, and I have been playing a lot so let me show you what's going on first of all we've got these eggs here that i'm going to hatch we've got three rexes these are going to be second generation and we've got two pteranodons these pteranodons and rexes should be absolutely beastly i'm not quite sure of the timing like when they're going to be ready but hopefully by the end of this recording these will hatch so you'll be able to see these hatch at the end of the video actually screw it i'm going to make it so you guys get to see them hatch no matter what no matter how long it takes um right let me show you all the tames i mean just a quick look around you can see up here oh holy pteranodons loads of pteranodons quite a few arges i've been breeding a lot of pteranodons because obviously pteranodons are very very strong and why not make the most of this event and get some really really good ones um so this is one of my best pteranodons this is the male that i've been breeding a lot just because it's got decent melee i know that's not crazy melee for a pteranodon but it's not too bad for some reason we don't have any melee ones uh but i'm just taking the melee stat from that one hopefully and the other stats what is my favorite one that i've got so far Far. I think it's Marina if she is around here. Marina, this was a lovely pteranodon that I got 97% imprint on, and that was horrendous lag. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all been experiencing really bad lag on the servers as well. Kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, we've got Marina right here. Uh, this is my new baby girl at the moment. Let's see if I can access that inventory. It's asking me. So me I can change the name. Here we go. Access the inventory. Uh, so this thing actually had 2.4, which is nearly 2.5k health just off the bat. Like, I didn't have to level it whatsoever. So as you guys know, probably, I don't really level health in my Pteranodons. As long as they're over 1.5k, I don't really level health because I've identified I'd rather have a bit of speed, a bit of stamina, maybe a little bit of weight. I'm obviously not a melee damage Pteranodon kind of guy. Um, so yeah, that was really, really good for me. It allowed me to pump 3k plus in stamina and get the uh, movement speed up to 268%. Super fast, super useful, absolutely love that one. So I've been breeding Marina here uh, with others because this one has great health, good stamina as well by default. 
I think this is 1.5 or 1.6k stamina by default. So I've been breeding Marina a lot and uh, we should be getting some really good Argies. Now I know I don't normally like to breed, but this th three times breeding thing has made it absolutely fine because they grow to juvenile so quickly and start feeding out the trough. So yeah, with that one and with the other one, I've been doing a lot of breeding, obviously a lot of interbreeding. Um, a lot of these are like quite decent and probably Marina there is my favorite. But yeah, a lot of Pteranodons as you guys can see, but you know, I'm kind of new to breeding. They're not as crazy as some of the triadons you see out and about in the world of Ark. Over here as well, we've got our bears. We've got some cubs coming along. Um, we've got four bears. I think De Burr is a bread bear, and the others were just quite good ones that we found. And we decided to breed them because the breeding thing is only going to last one more day at the moment. So we needed to get that breeding in before it finished. And most things are going to be able to breed in a day with this increased taming speed. Uh, so we bred both the females and we got twins we got two sets of twins you can see these darker ones are twins and the lighter ones are twins there not crazy crazy stats but these ones the dark ones seem to have higher health by default and the brighter ones or the lighter ones even have a little bit more i think stamina and melee damage so nice to have some bears they can be really useful uh great tames to have for farming and for defending the base not bad at all we've got this pretty nice quetzal here as well this has been coming along nicely quetzals take quite a long time to raise even with this event uh, this has been going since the start of the event, this one. Uh, but it's looking good. I mean, 9.6k health, that's pretty good. Weight is 1.5. I mean, anything over 1.2 or 1.3 is great for a wild Quetzal. So to get 1.5 before any levels is pretty good. So a nice Quetzal there, uh, which moves me swiftly on to... Oh, we've got a Rhino as well, by the way. Uh, moves me swiftly on to uh, our other Quetzal here. This is Farmer Joe. We decided to get a weight Quetzal. Um, I'm sure you guys know there are a few cheeky ones ways of uh, making it so when you farm that you have a lot more weight than you should do that's all I'm gonna say about that so uh, we've decided to get ourselves a Quetzal that is high weight you know for if these things are ever a problem now this isn't an amazing weight Quetzal but it's one that we just focused weight in and I think it's up to uh, that is the grinder not the Quetzal it's up to 3.3 yeah, 3.3, not bad. And 10k health. Now, looking back at this, I actually had wished we'd made this a battle Quetzal. Because this had really decent base health um, for a Quetzal. So, maybe we should have made that a war Quetzal in the end. Either way, it's a farmer Quetzal and uh, it serves its purpose. It's just going to sit here. Pretzel here is obviously our war Quetzal uh, that we've had for quite a while. So we go, we've got all that breeding there. Uh, in here are a lot of the fertilized eggs that I got from just doing that um, breeding that I did in the last recording that you guys are never going to get to see because the microphone was messed up. Uh, but yeah, we've got some real nice pteranodon eggs in here and these Rex eggs are going to be super high health. I was going to put all of these out because uh, the Rexes are only just about going to be done in time by, by the time the, the event finishes. But... Um, well, I better keep an eye on these, actually. Make sure that I'm around this hatch. But, I mean, doing more than three at a time could prove a bit tricky. And especially because it's just me here. What if we end up getting twins? It could be a real mess. So, who knows? I'm hoping just for singles, actually. I don't really want to be raising, like, eight T-Rexes at once. That's not really my style so let's go have a look at the brand new dinos we've got two of the new dinos that are actually in the latest update first of all we've got a rock uh this rock is really good and no, i'm joking it's not a rock of course it's a pelovia press triangle and out it pops these things are little hidden beasts you can hide them down they stun people when they hit them uh and although on our screen obviously when we press triangle uh, you can see a little rock on the enemy screen. They can't see anything. It's just the normal ground like this. I've got a bit of lag going on here, but yeah, there we go. So although that looks like that to us, to anyone else, that is just completely invisible. So you can actually hide your um, tames, or you could hide your gear in here even. Oh, you can actually access it there, can you? Yeah, you can. This was a 150 kibble tames. Got pretty good health going on there. Oh, it pops up when you level it, does it? Uh, but yeah, we're looking to get a 150 kibble tame female as well. Maybe do some breeding and hopefully have a whole army of these little beasts. Could be great for base defense. Fence. We'll have to wait and see how useful they are. But yeah, it's a shame you can't ride them as well because they look pretty cool. But we'll put you 
back down there. Here's one that we didn't think we'd have anytime soon. Mr. Tickle, thanks to the box of chocolates allowing us to tame this in about two and a half hours instead of five, we have a nice Therizina. I think this one is like 125. We didn't go for a 150 because the 150s are actually way, way longer than to tame than the level was like 100 to 120. So we've got Mr. Tickle here. Obviously, he's got this lovely little tickle animation. Uh, but yeah, this is super useful. It's got multiple attacks. It's got the claw swipe. It's got the head bang, great for getting berries. And they're a little bit like T-Rexes, like more useful T-Rexes. Uh, not quite as strong on the health, but their damage per second is pretty similar. Uh, and they're very maneuverable and a little bit smaller. Like I say they're small, look at the size of them. I mean, look at the size of my character compared to this thing. Still pretty good. Um, this one I've actually leveled mainly health. Because I want to be quite tanky, you know, be able to put up a little bit of a fight. Um, I don't know how many Therizinos I'm going to be able to get because the kibble is super hard to get. It's those sleepy dinos that I've not found any of. So that is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with Mr. Tickle. Hopefully we'll get Mrs. Tickle today uh, and we'll have a nice pair that we can breed before the end of the evolution of Evan. Next up, we have some Barry Onyx, Barry and Bella. We've got the mate boost going on here. Bella is actually the better one of the two. We used Kibble and Prime Fish Meat on that one. Oh no, actually, we used a box of chocolates and some prime fish meat. Now, these things have to be tamed of fish meat. It's either, obviously, fish meat, prime fish meat, or their kibble. Oh, damn, look at that lag. That's really bad. Uh, and you have to actually feed them fish meat as well. They won't survive on normal meat. But we're going to take a look at those in a second. We're actually going to take a ride for it uh, with them, and I'll explain uh, what they do in a minute if you're not sure about them. Uh, we've got our Rexes here that I've been breeding. These are the males over here. Yep, Charlie and Scrivosaurus. Uh, all the males have been coming out of 10k plus health. Uh, we haven't really got much XP in them, but all of these uh, male and female Rexes should be able to get up to like 30 to 40k, maybe even a little bit more health. So hopefully soon, breeding those Rexes that I've got eggs in in there as well, we should have a nice little army of super high health Rexes for base defense and maybe for raiding as well if we decide to take them out raiding. Uh, out here, it's a little bit of a mess. This was more organized, but it's a bit of a mess now. Uh, we've been keeping our turtles. We've got terror birds, moss chops, dodos, listros, dillos, scorpions, patchy rhinos. Uh, patchy rhinos we've got because that's what gives you the baryonyx kibble. And patches gives you parasa kibble. We're thinking about getting some battle parasas. We've definitely got enough eggs now. I will tell you that. Let me get in the corner a little bit there. Got our rock golem there as well, just hiding away. And one of the quetzals out here. And you can see we've been working on the outside of the base a little bit more. We've made the wall higher there. Uh, we've made the wall higher up the top there and we've got a few more turrets out and about so i think that is basically everything that's new in the base since the last video if you've been watching my live streams you would have seen a bit of that as well uh so whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that was some serious lag there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna check on the pteranodons just to give me a rough oh moss chops egg we need moss chops egg Mosschops egg are for the um, Perlovias, I believe. So we want to get some more of those. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to take the Baryonyx out to the water and show you what it's all about. Because I think they are super, super cool. And then maybe I'll go and try and find a high-level Therizina as well, a high-level female, if we've got enough time in today's video. So let's just have a look over here how these are doing. So give me a rough idea of how long I need to wait to come back. Ooh, I've, I've got a little bit of time to mess around on the Baryonyx. So let's get on Bella. Bella is the better of the Baryonyx. And head down to the little lake and show you what it can do. Oh, actually, I'm going to take my uh, scuba gear. So let's get that and then we'll head out. All right, so away from the base here now, so it's not as laggy, getting a few more frames per second, which is always appreciated, and give you a nice look at this Baryonyx. Now, I have leveled this one in movement speed. It is 237 movement speed and 3K health, so a pretty good all-round Baryonyx. But like I said, it wasn't a perfect kibble tame, and it wasn't a 150, so you could get much better than this. This has a few levels in as well, 15,000 uh xp in it already so it is leveled uh, but you can just see how maneuverable it is this is like a little spino but super super tight turning circle very very responsive probably one of the best things to maneuver on the land so kind of think of this like a like a spino um a mini spino but then i guess 
I, don't know, I guess it's a mini spinner, but there are a lot of different things to it. So um, a bit like a carnivore is a T-Rex. This is kind of that to a spino. Uh, really good stamina, as you can see. A bit of movement speed, and it's quite fun to walk around. You can see the stamina is a very, very slow drain. So you could travel quite far with this thing. I can imagine it being super useful on the island as well, because the island is a much smaller map. So it's not going to be a problem. Uh, getting across big areas and because it's got 3k health it can handle itself uh, out in these kinds of areas ideally this is more of a uh, a water mount really but as you'll be able to see like it's just no problem taking on stuff that's here now it does have like a um, a right stick which is like a grab but I don't seem to be able to get that to work I've been told it's for like smaller dinos but I don't know whenever I grab a smaller dino it's not a problem so not very not very strong attack you can see here like it's not doing big damage uh but it's quite quick a bit like the spinos is and because it's okay health it will still do damage to most things so you can take on most wild dinos with this thing although this isn't really something i take uh into battle with a bit more of a um a scouting mount or something i mean i guess you could compare it to like a galley once you've got speed on it, it's like a galley with a bit of weight um, but it just looks so cool that I would happily ride this around. Uh, especially if I was playing PvE and you could get really cool colour ones. So, it's taken us a while to kill this I reckon this is probably a half decent level one. I know that this thing hasn't got great melee, but... Damn, this thing must be decent. Now we've got another Anki after us as well. Wow, 135, it was decent. Now, one interesting thing is if you get into trouble, obviously, uh, then you can take things into the water. So if you're getting chased by things that uh, can't swim and you can't take them on, into the water you go and you'll be absolutely fine. So I'm about to show you this thing is pretty good in the water. Let's put on the scuba gear. So this is its normal speed, non-sprinting. Obviously, I have got some points in uh, movement. Let's just take a, uh, a dip there. But yeah, quite nice. Very maneuverable, as you can see. And a real nice animation, or obviously you can press the sprint. And yeah, very decent. This could be a nice little mount to sneak up on raids. And then obviously not only is it pretty fast in the water, but you could sneak up on someone on the coast. And then as soon as you get out of the water, again, you can see, still very fast out of the water. So it's a nice transition, actually. It's like a very much a nice utility dino this is probably my favorite dino of the update the Perlovia is cool but i mean just look at this thing it just looks so mean it looks i don't know it's so slim and just looks cool so stamina drain not too bad underwater we do l2 and it'll do the spin attack uh and it'll obviously just uh, harm whatever's nearby so you smash that fish there this actually has a stun effect uh i don't think it works on the um on the fish but obviously it does work on proper dinos like big dinos and that one took a beating normally you can like one tap things you have got the normal attacks as well which you can obviously do uh let's take on this salmon as well i don't think this thing will get you any prime fish meat let's see if i can just spin that but yeah apparently this thing is really good at killing like mantas just any real uh dinos because it will stun them apart from things like squids hang on this thing's trying to catch me up and i need to let it <laughs> there we go bam beautiful so this is a really cool attack it's meant to be really used in the water this thing as you can see the stamina is not really uh draining another useful thing about the baryonics if you jump off here uh it will actually gather fish meat if it's low on health so i think if i go up to it, it should be an option don't seek fish on low health. So if it is low health, you jump off of it. It will go and seek that fish meat uh, that it wants. But yeah, as you can see, a beautiful looking dino. Definitely one of my favourites. Hopefully you can get some bright colour ones. Maybe some coloured mutations. That would be real, real nice. But anyway, this has been super fun. Let's head back to base and have a check on how those Pteranodon eggs and Rex eggs are doing. Oh, my bear wants a cuddle. Oh, that's cool. Easy. And I've got this other one on some care in 20 minutes. I wonder what that affected. Hmm. I think they did melee damage, didn't it? I'm not 100% sure on that one. So anyway, back at base now. Let's have a check on the eggs. See how they're doing. There shouldn't be too much more progress on these. Ooh, we've got time to do one more thing, really. And then the pteranodons are going to be out. And they're going to want some care. Look at this. Look at this Quetzal. It's coming along so nicely. Beautiful Quetzal there. Um, so I've got two options. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Therizino. Let's ride around on the Therizino a little bit. 
obviously whoa that was some serious lag <laughs> obviously this is quite hard to get tamed so that's something not a lot of you uh might actually have although i'm sure you've all seen videos or at least uh maybe spawned it in on your own servers uh, even if you haven't been able to tame this so they're not actually that fast oh this is gonna be kind of awkward bella why are you in the way there let's move bella out the way oh i love my baryonics so so cool uh, and the electric wyvern, also my, probably my favourite wyvern at the moment, actually. I love the electric. So, so cool. Killed a titanosaur with this thing yesterday, and it actually wasn't that hard at all doing it. Much easier than with the fire wyvern. Anyway, let's go out here. So, yeah, this is base movement speed. Not too fast, but fast enough. It's also got decent... I'll leave this door open there, whatever. It's also got decent stamina, as you can see. Now, I can imagine this would be a thing It would be quite fun... Uh, to pump movement speed in because you can see it is a bit on the sluggish side it is a bit on the sluggish side uh, let's move away from base there because you can tell the frame rate around base pretty horrendous uh, so these things are basically pretty good at most things the only real thing I think it could be a little bit better with this thing uh, oh yeah, let's smish this uh, the only thing I think could be a bit better is the weight it's a little bit of a shame that its weight isn't great God, all of that is lag that not hitting that's crazy and i'm sure you guys have been experiencing lag as well uh so when you actually level these things up you get an option to level up it's uh i think it's gentle harvest is it oh 26 levels damn let's do that so uh, so oh <laughs> god's sake I always die i don't really know how to work this thing like you kind of like unpress it and then additional power harvesting we've decided to go all power so let's just go crazy uh, this is for me. I'm not sure if it's for hide, but I don't know. It just seemed to be much better than the delicate one. Obviously, delicate one is for fire. I think the delicate one is fiber and hide. But either way, we're going to go power just to see uh, how it does. So it's got a few attacks. Uh, what's this one, actually? Is this an attack? No, it's not an attack. We've got the headbutt, and we've got the claws, and then we've got the tickle tickle. So three little things. The tickle tickle is for the fire bar. It's the, the tickle tickle looks so funny. You can do it while like walking along as well. Look at that. It looks so creepy. <laughs> oh my god, that is super creepy. Um, yeah, so let's actually just kill like a dino or something. Or let's see if we can get like a decent amount of organic polymer. We're going back into the bad frame rate, but I want to see if we can get a decent amount of organic polymer. Now I'm not sure which does the most damage out of the stick the stick one or the uh right trigger let's have a look there oh that was just hide oh i'm sure it did get polymer but sometimes it glitches doesn't it it doesn't actually tell you how much it got maybe let's go up to another one God, i hate this frame rate of this base but then again anyone else who wants to rate us <laughs> he's not going to enjoy the frame rate either so yeah let's see if it gets a okay amount of organic poly as well oh, it looks so deadly doesn't it those claws man those claws Woo! God damn, should be hitting that. Come on, you can hit it. That is lag city. That is lag city. There we go, killed it. 23 organic polymer. That's not too bad at all, really. So I'm going to take this down here. Uh, let's fight a few things. It's got okay health, this thing. It's got 11k. I mean, it's not quite up there with T-Rex standards, but that does mean that in a fight, it's probably going to have no issues whatsoever. So you've got to do a bit of a trade-off, I think. You can go a bit of movement speed. I think movement speed would be super fun in this thing. And if you're not going to make it like a battle tame, um, then maybe it would be a good idea. But then again, these things are so hard to tame that the one that I did get, I wanted it to have high health in case I do end up fighting with it. Uh, and I don't want it to die super easy. So I'm going to head down here and let's have a few fights with some things and see how it does. All right, Therizino, let's see what you're made of. We've got some Argies here. We've got some other bits. Let's just like, lay into them with the uh, R2 attack. Give them a few hits. I don't know. Is this going to be a good attack when they're above? Yeah, it does seem to be hitting them still. We'll do some of that right stick action as well. The little head bop. Give it some of that. Not crazy high damage, but these things, uh, I've seen people f compare them to Rexes. They do similar DPS to Rex. It's a lot less damage. Not a lot less. It's about half the damage of a Rex. Whoa, this thing does get a lot of meat. Damn, I think that harvesting does give you a lot of meat. Uh, the hide's not bad either, man. I mean, 155 hide from that thing. But yeah, this thing can take a bit of a punishing because it is that 11k health. Oh, this is an orange bear. That looks super nice, actually. Yeah, a bit like the Baryonyx had okay health, so it can take a bit of punishment, even though it's not super uh, 
high damage, but quite a fast attack. Mixed with the fact this thing has 11k makes it like a not bad all rounder. Is it worth the crazy amount of time it takes to tame? I don't know, probably not. I mean, it's a great utility dino, but you know, if you need fiber, why not get yourself a bear? Bears don't take long to tame at all. If you need yourself a fighter, why not get yourself a Rex? So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Is there a is there a real reason why you would get this over having like a few of the other tames in just a group? Because other tames do do what this thing does. Just, uh, you just have to get multiple dinos. This is like, I guess what would be a great scenario actually is if you're a solo player and maybe you have a really small base and you don't have... Well, you know, you don't have a lot of space for loads of tames. This thing will collect berries. It's actually quite a good berry gatherer, if I show you. Just like freaking head bop on these things. And it's quite easy. Even though there's not a lot of berry bushes down here, you can gather quite well. Because you can just like head bop and move. Probably my favourite berry gatherer that we've got now, actually. So, there is that as well. It does a bit of everything. It takes a long time to tame, but does a bit of everything. Maybe they'll make those Megalosaurus things a little bit more common. So, that these things are a bit easier to get. But... Yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I would like to up its movement speed. Let's yeah, let's start doing a bit of movement speed. You know what? It's going to be useful. So I'm going to drop a little bit of this weight, some of the pelt and stuff that I don't need. I've got a pike in here as well. That's not bad. And uh, yeah, head back to base. I think my uh, pteranodons might be ready, you know. All right, Thrazino or Mr. Tickle back in the building. And we have now got the responsibility of raising these pteranodons. I hope they haven't hatched by the time I've got back. That would really, really suck. Let's go over to my pteranodons over here and have a look. Can't have long left on them now. Let's have a little crouch down and look. Right, no, not long at all. Right, so let's get some meat and then we will be ready to rock. Here we go, super, super close now. Uh, this is what I'm looking forward to the most. I think this is going to be the slightly better stats one. I guess we will find out. I don't really want twins or triplets because that would be a right pain right now. I just want one nice bird that's going to be super easy. I think Caddick's going to take the other one. Um, let me just type Tim. Oh, yeah, just one nice right imprint. Let's call it uh, Lady. Oh, and there's the other one. So I can't need to hurry up over here. There we go. Let's... Disable wandering. And he's got it. He's got it. Ah, oh, he's one's cooler colour than mine. <laughs> Whatever. Right, let's have a little look at this. Uh 1.7k health. That's not bad. 1.3 stam. That's actually less than I thought it was gonna be. We've got 1.5k stam birds. What's this one? Ah, you see this is the one I that's the one I should have had. 1.5k. Oh my god. Well it's too late to it's too late to switch now. It's too late to switch now. <laughs> oh, well, I've, I've got a really great bird anyway. This one could be good, though. You never know. Uh, this one's even got less melee damage than that one. This one's got 322, and this one's got 250 or something. 250? Oh, I really... I got the bad end of the stick here. I thought this was going to be the much better one, but I think this is one in bit unfortunate and taking some of the worst stats. Which really sucks. Oh my word. Can it got the better one? What a cheeky little scribber. He wasn't even going to let me hatch them a minute ago. Alright, screw this. To make up for my... <laughs> for my annoying... Annoying fact that I got the worst Pteranodon. Let's get this out as well, eh? It's only Valentine's once a year. <laughs> nah, man. I'm hatching it now. I'm hatching it now. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I don't know how long that's going to take, but whatever. It's going to be another Baryonyx. Hopefully it'll be a female, and then it'll help us get more eggs. Because I don't know what that Baryonyx is going to end up meaning uh, or being killed for, but probably something quite good. I'm just telling it to everyone on Discord that I'm going to do it because uh, I'm a boy. So, yeah, I guess got to look out for these now. Now, the juvenile, like the baby to juvenile... Um, waiting period isn't bad at all you can already see i can already smash 12 meat in this thing and i literally just hatched it so yeah gonna have to wait a little bit for a juvenile wait for this to hatch and then yeah we'll wait for the t-rexes see how they come out well my oh my bear wants dilo egg kibble i've actually got that that is good let's do that i've realized i need to go and get myself some uh fish meat 
if I want to be going and getting the um, if I want to raise the barrier so let's just feed this that's probably going to be the last imprint let's have a look oh no there's one more I guess um, yeah, that's a nice bear, that one. I managed to get the imprinting on that one fine. So, back on the Baryonyx. Let's go get some uh, fish meat. This has actually been super fun, collecting this meat with the Baryonyx, man. The, the stamina on this thing lasts for absolutely ages. And where it's so maneuverable as well, it's like super easy to get to where you want to be. Even like stops on the spot kind of thing. Really, really cool way of uh, collecting fish meat, which I guess is what's needed for it and what's needed for the thing. But you can see, like, you can go up to something that you can, like, back and forth, back and forth. Not everything has, like, a bit of a, a, like, a backward swim like that, which is super, super useful, actually. Very, very nice. I absolutely love this Baryonyx. Definitely recommend getting yourself one of these. Anyway, I'm nearly filled up with fish meat. I'm going to head back and uh, stick this in the trough ready. Or we'll stick it in the fridge, even, ready for taming. Oh, here it is. Nearly ready to get some fish meat. Beautiful. I think I just heard it hatch. No, it's about to hatch. The Baryonyx. We might even get twins. Is it going to be twins, guys? Come on. I don't know what we're going to call it. I'm hoping for a female, if not twins. We need... um. We've got a male, so we can keep making that. But a female would be super nice. So what you got for me? Just one single male would be a bit of a disappointment. Not to be mean. Oh, twins, Basil. Twins. Just a quick GGG. Cat it, get that one. Yeah, we got the Baryonyxes. Let's go. Right, disable wandering. This one's a male. And a female. We did get a female. Nice. Ah, oh, well, that is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's get some fish meat. You're going to need some fish meat, aren't you, buddy? Well, looks like we're raising Baryonyx now. As well as, uh, as well as Pteranodons. I'll drop some fish meat for uh, Caddick. Yeah, looks like we've got our hands full here, boys. Now we've just got to wait for the Rexes, see what they come out like. <laughs> 